investigate a lot of y y young people who couldn't afford the home, who couldn't afford rentals in Borough Park and in Flatbush came over here because of here they were able to, to, get, to move into a ground floor basement um, for $1,200 and so they built their entire life in that ground floor. They had their three bedrooms and they had their, their whatever they did and the entire, there are now 315 families comprising about 1,500 nefashas that are homeless, literally homeless. Klali Yisrael has homeless people. It, it, it's, hard to me, it's hard to me to understand such a thing. You know, you hear Katrina, you hear this, you hear, people live in Bar Park 10, 15 minutes away and they don't understand, they don't know what's going on over here. Did you give him back? Please no. Huh? Did you give hey, him back? What's that? Why do you go come in here? We're out here from Baltimore, 175 Baltimoreans joined together to support the Seagate community. Hi, my name is Yossi Green, this is my home. And today we see um, what Gimelis Chesed, what Klali Yisrael is all about. If you need anything else, guys, you let the group leader know and we will send them over. Hey, you need a dress? We no, you need a dress. dress. I, I need a uh, yeah. gloves. We were here since last week Monday. The water just kept coming up. We didn't know where the end is going to be. Our Hashem was limited, in my case, to the basement. Everything in the basement is lost, including the uh, two bedrooms, kitchen, which was our Achdo Sarcha room. This is part of our apartment, our guest room, and our dining room that was recently renovated and redone. The cost to replace all this is in the range of $100,000. Insurance does not cover any contents below street level. I'm sure you here we have a brand new kitchen that we just put in. So they said that the shul needs the most amount of people. Okay, so let's go. We're here in one of the shows of Seagate. And we're here right here pumping out the mikvah. As you can see, the mikvah is in the bottom. It's all full of sand. In the middle of uh, and they have these two bars, which are also full of sand. Coming here is overwhelming, just uh, the, amount of, the amount of work and the uh, destruction that was done. <laughs> 500 people, we have 500 volunteers today, doing 100 houses. We're in the water. Uh, we came in the day after the flood, and the basement was totally submerged. We got, have to gut the whole basement. The ceilings caved in. The walls caved in, pipes were bursting all over the place. If I knew what was going on here in Seagate, they would open their wallets, open their hearts, send uh, whatever they could, either come down yourselves to help, or send a check, even if you can't, I'm sure not everybody can come schlep. Garbage like this is literally, picture your whole basement, in your home, wherever you are, is gone. You have to throw it out. Everything that you've saved 40, 50 years, every little memento, every picture, every we have to feel the pain of thousands of sperm. This is one single home. It's garbage. Finished. I myself was dropping them out. Everything you can imagine. Machzorim they were used for 50 years. Here. Shas. Mission of Baruras. Shnayis. The bunch will help. Things will get better. Hopefully some funds will come in, some of these the families will be able to rebuild, we'll be able to get everybody going back to schools again. In the end of time it says that we're going to be Zoichet to Mashiach through Gmilas Chasadim. Believe me, the last two weeks, the amount of Gmilas Chasadim that was, that's been accumulated, that we're bringing up, that we're throwing up to the Rabbanu that we're showing them how we love each other and all, 
Hasidim, Snagdim, Sfardim, Litvish, Litvish people, everybody's coming out, everybody's helping everybody, everybody's moving their own kids into other rooms to make rooms for, for, for kids from here and from the other neighborhoods that are hurt. It's unfortunate, there's a lot of pain and we have to get over the pain so that we can make tapes about it, we can write songs about it, that we can think back to this as a blip in history and we can move forward. I'm not angry at anyone, I can't be angry at the Irish day, it is what it is. I mean, I appreciate obviously everything that everyone's coming and doing here, which is a beautiful thing, and all I can tell you is I'm proud to be a Jew, that's all. Yeah.